Good morning, Brian Bulldogs of Merritt Mustangs. Today is Monday, April 27th, 2020. You must be wondering why I'm giving your morning announcements. Where's Mr. Roth? Where's Mr. Conlon? Where's Mr. Waika? First, my name is Dr. Amato. Some of you may have seen me in your classrooms or in your school hallways. More importantly, this month is Autism Awareness Month. And Mr. Roth, Mr. Conlon, and Mr. Waika asked me to give you a special morning announcement to celebrate those with autism, their families, and their teachers. So here's a mindful mini to tell you about this. Most of us know someone with autism. Many people with autism are just like me and you. They go to school, they take tests, they have their favorite foods, they like to watch TV, they enjoy listening to music and dancing, and they love playing with friends. But sometimes, children with autism are different than you. Some kids with autism may have difficulty talking. They may struggle making friends or fitting in. They have a hard time dealing with changes, like trying new foods or having a substitute teacher for the day. Sometimes children with autism don't like loud noises, bright lights, or large crowds. Kids with autism may also move in an unusual way sometimes by flapping their hands. They may also repeat the same word or phrase over and over. A child with autism may have a little trouble with these things, or a lot. Some kids only need a little bit of help, and others may need a lot of help with learning and doing everyday stuff. Not all children with autism are the same. What can you do to help people with autism? I'm here today to ask you to join me and help create a kinder world for people with autism and all types of disabilities. What does a kinder world look like? It is one where we are inclusive of everyone, regardless of our differences. Kindness is understanding that not everyone experiences the world the same way we do. Kindness is seeing the value in all people. Kindness is not judging someone who flaps their hands when they get excited. Kindness is trying to help a friend understand what the teacher is saying rather than laughing at them. Kindness is not staring when a child is having a hard time in a public place, such as parks, grocery stores, temples, or churches. Kindness is focusing on someone's ability instead of their disability. Kindness is keeping an open mind if someone is not giving you eye contact. Kindness is inviting someone into your group if you see that they are lonely or by themselves. I hope you can join me in making this world a kinder place. I also hope you can join me in wearing blue today. This small act will show students with autism, their families, and their teachers that we support them. Ask your mom, dad, or older sibling to take a photo of you wearing blue, and they can either email it to Mr. Conlon or Mr. Waika, or they can tweet the photo and tag me at Janelle Amato. What would a morning be without birthday announcements? Guess what, Brian Bulldogs and Merritt Mustangs? There are no birthdays today. So let's end with this. In a world where we could be anything, let's be kind. Have a great start to week six of remote learning, and don't forget it's Spirit Week this week, so please check out the emails that follow this announcement. Have a great day.